What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking on number 101 Duke. They're 0-1-1. They love basketball. So do the guys at Indiana, but we are a much better football team so we should handle business. That's what I'm expecting. They got Brown, number one in the program, number one in their playbook. He's one of the better receivers in the ACC. They try to get Nunez on the crossing route and they can't connect the dots. Daniels throws it to the flat, caught by Robertson. Their tailback, but he's out of bounds. So they're going to drop it off to Robinson this time. He makes the catch, but gets brought down by Houston, and we force a quick three and out. I think the momentum might be on our side. And there goes Muse, Big Patrick, down the sideline, tiptoeing across the 50. So second down and 10. Going to give that thing to Walker. He's able to pick up a gain of five. Third down, five yards to go, and we get sacked. Our left tackle got to pick himself up, pick up his pride, put it back in his pocket. I'm telling you, our O-line woes continue. They're going to take a shot deep, and that pass is not going to be on target. They try to find Brown. Third down and six. Robertson tries to turn the corner, and he does, and he's going to get up to midfield with a first down in his back pocket. Wide receiver screen to Brown, and Brown's getting busy, and Brown has speed and space, and he's going to take it to the crib. Touchdown, Duke, and the Blue Devils strike first. Tack on the PAT, and it's 7-0 here in the early going. We are on the road, but again, I feel like we're the much better football team. It's about time that we show. Going to get that thing to Patrick Muse one more time. He's going to fall forward, and he's going to pick up a gain of seven. Second down and three. There's a lane from the run through, trying to pick up an extra block, and he's going to turn that carry into another big-time gain and another first down. Then Johnson. Just got beasted on Calvin. Got smacked in the backfield. Loss of one. Throwing it to Ryan. And he can't make the catch and bounce. So third down and 11. Courtney Johnson rolling out. Throwing it deep downfield. And that pass is going to be caught by Ryan. So big time catch. We're in Duke territory. Inside the 20 you'll find Chambers. Now Chambers, he's going to be playing tight end for us. Because Stoops, he has been... Suspended for the next two games, and Ryan can't make the catch right there. So third down and three. Looking downfield as Johnson drops it off to Muse, and Muse gonna work his way upfield on third down to pick up a first down. Right up the gut goes Muse. Touchdown Hoosiers, and they're gonna tie this thing up at seven apiece. Brown from his own five yard line gets up past the 25 and crosses. Up to the 27-yard line. First down and 10. They fake it to Robertson. Daniels rolling out. Throws it. Caught by Nunez. Moved those chains. His first catch gets them a gain of 15. User strip. That's Thomas on the safety blitz. We force the fumble. We get the sack. They do recover it. So it's going to be second down and 19. We get some more pressure. Now it's third down and 19. Daniels has time in the pocket. As the O-line does a good job for him. He throws it back across the, his body. And that's going to be caught by Chase, but not enough for the first down. So Wildcat option, Smith is at quarterback. He gets the ball, pitches it to Muse, and Muse gets upfield for a gain of seven from the 22-yard line. Wildcat option still in effect. There goes Smith to the left side, turns the corner, breaks the tackle up past the 40, and that's going to be a first down for the Hughes from the gun. Johnson in that quarterback. They give the ball to Muse. Muse runs a man smooth over, and that's going to result in a first down, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. All right, so from the 46, first down and 10. Johnson rolling, rolling, looking, firing. Chambers makes the catch down the sideline, and maybe we should have had this guy playing tight end the whole time. Muse, he gets the carry. Full head of steam, but dropped at the three-yard line. Not a quite first down yardage, but we do pick up the first down with Calvin Johnson. So first and go from the one. Johnson gets the carry again just to get smacked at the line of scrimmage and go no further. Second down and go. Get the ball to Muse. He gets close to the goal line, but he stopped there. So third down and go from the one. Breaks a tackle, and we still can't get in. So we're going to roll the dice on fourth and go. Up that gut goes Muse, and he's going to say that the tip of the football Cross the goal line. You can hear a pin drop in this stadium. They can't believe it. It was a good effort by that Blue Devils defense, but it wasn't good enough, and we are up by seven. So 14 to seven is now the score. Daniels to the left side, caught by Johnson, but not in bounds. So that's going to be ruled incomplete. So they're going to run the ball with Johnson. Let's give it to the fullback, but the fullback takes a big hit. That is David Jones laying the lumber. They throw it to the left side, caught by Brown. Gets brought down by Penn, and they're not going to have enough for the first down. So we fake it, and then we get smacked. Sacked 
Another sack for this Blue Devils defense. I give, I think that gives them two or three on the ball game so far. Joey Miller, he makes the catch. Joey Miller, he is just a redshirt junior, so he could come back for another year, y'all. Looking downfield for Ryan, and that pass was thrown a little bit too far. So first down and five, got the offside penalty. That pass is going to be broken up by Thomas. Second down and five to get the ball to Johnson. It goes swoop, slaying the lumber. And there goes Brown, who's a little bit shaken up. So third down and two. They're going to hit us with an end around. And Nunez goes nowhere. I believe that was Frazier who got in there for the stop. That's our true freshman four-star recruit. Got getting a tackle in the back, but that's a good look. Second down and six yards to go. We throw it up top, and that pass will fall incomplete. Third down, five yards to go. Rolling out is Johnson. Fires it deep, and that pass will also fall incomplete. First down and 10 for Daniels. He fires over the middle. Caught by Brown. Brown makes the catch for a gain of five. Second down and five. They throw it in some traffic. Great coverage by Penn. Almost got the interception. So Brian, our, our free safety, he's a little bit shaken up. So bring in McNamara. He's going to take over until Brian is healthy. So first down and 10. Johnson looking downfield. Drops it to the flat. Caught by Muse. And Muse, he gets dropped before he can get anything going. He does pick up a game of five, however. So looking downfield is Johnson. Throws it. Caught by Miller. Joey Miller coming through when I need him to. From the Duke Blue Devils 37-yard line. We take a shot deep to Mikey Walker who had it but couldn't quite corral it. So second down and 10, Wildcat option, we pitch it to Muse. Muse up to the 30, crosses the 20, crosses the 15, and pushed out of bounds at the 11 yard line. Second down and 10 now, Johnson rolling now, has a man open, that's Miller in the end zone. Touchdown, Indiana, and we're gonna take a 21 to seven lead to the halftime break. So on the Sports Illustrated, cover you had the running back from wisconsin there's they can still get it in mitchell he's an absolute beast for wisconsin but muse as of right now leads the conference in rushing with 209 then you got mike hart then you got coley and then you got mitchell who is averaging 4.7 yards per carry and i believe he is tops in the conference in touchdowns with three smith he's getting in this season as well we have a bunch of running backs most teams in the Big Ten do, but we really do. At least that's how I feel. So back to the game. Third quarter action. Now we're going to give that thing to Muse. And Muse, he's going to get up. Field tries to get as many yards as he can. He gets seven in the process. From the 30-yard line, there goes Muse wiggling his way through traffic for a first down. From the 36-yard line, Johnson rolling out. Stops. Pops. Fires it to Miller. A perfect pass. Courtney Johnson's arm talent is clearly there. A lot of people want to see a dual threat quarterback, but he is just a pure pocket passer, and he can light that thing up. Looking downfield, and that pass will be broken up, so bring on the kick team. 37-yard field goal is up, and it is good. So we are going to take a 24-7 lead. There goes David Jones off of the edge. He gets the sack. Big time sack for him. We send a blitz, and this time Eric Jones, the Jones brothers, get back to back sacks. One's a corner, one's a linebacker, but they're both beasty. So it's going to be fourth down and two as we take over. Smith picks up the first down by the hairs of his chin, 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 and that's going to take some more time off for the clock. We're in the third quarter, but you got to think the clock is going to be a factor moving forward. First down and 10, we get the ball to Calvin Johnson, and Johnson able to power through a defensive back and has enough for the first down. From the sixth yard line, get the ball to Mikey Walker. He gets to the one yard line. That's going to set first and go get the ball to Muse, who's in the end zone for the third time today. Minute 01 on the clock here in the third quarter. They fire it. That pass caught by Johnson, brought down by Thomas. Move those chains for Duke. They fire it deep, and that pass is going to be an ugly one, and that's going to take us to the fourth quarter. So we are in control to say the least. 31 to 7 is the score. Looking to ground and pound. No play fake. Throwing it deep to Ryan, who makes the catch move those chains first down and 10 from the 38 yard line get the ball to calvin and look at johnson get to the left side and calvin johnson picks up a gain of nine we give it to him again this time their linebacker core is in the backfield to stop calvin johnson for the loss of four. So on third and what six 
third and five, we're going to find Chambers over the middle. He makes the catch. And now Muse is loose. And Muse is going to keep this drive going as well as we're inside the 30-yard line. Mikey Walker, he's a little bit shaken up. Hopefully it's not too serious. He does not have a catch so far in this ball game. Going to pitch it to her, the big fullback. He's going to rumble for a first down. Everybody getting the ball. First down and go. Get the ball to Smith, who lines up in the backfield as a running back. For the first time today, and he gets into the end zone. It's 38 to 7. Robertson is going to be tough sledding the rest of the way forward. They only got, I believe, like 10 yards rushing at this point. Maybe a little bit more thanks to that carry, but it's been tough sledding to say the least. That's going to continue. But I don't even know why you run the ball in these situations when you got to try to come back unless they're waving the white flag, which is not a gang. I believe it's surrender. Third down and four. Daniels rolling out. Fires it. Great coverage. I believe that is Eric Jones, and that's going to bring this one to an end. That was third down. They'll punt the ball. We would milk the clock from there. So this would have been one heck of a basketball game, and it was an okay football game, if you ask me. We came. We saw. We handled business. Courtney Johnson, I think he's going to be the all-freshman team, all-American freshman team quarterback. Of course, I am very, very biased. We haven't got to big Ten play, but that's just how I feel in my heart of hearts. You feel me? I know you do. Okay, Mike Chambers at tight end. He is definitely a better route runner, more speed. Um, you remember back in the day, Chad Johnson with SAU. He was a receiver who he turned into a tight end, and that worked out beautifully. Even though he did play a lot uh, as a as a split receiver, as a as a you know deep threat on the outside, and so on and so forth. But hey, maybe Chambers would take over that role. We really haven't had a great tight end so far. We're still in the baby stages of this dynasty. But, hey, we got to make sure that we win this season. This season is bowl game or bust, obviously. Hopefully we can crack the top 25. That would be a good look. But I'm going to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. Peace. Love. Hot sauce.